Hey, I see you there. I see you there in your $40 t-shirt, your $200 designer jeans, laughing your ass off at a set of $99 acoustic panels. And you know what? I'm going to allow it. Just this week, Elgato released their wave panels, which is their take on acoustic treatment for your streaming content creation space. Acoustic treatment is something that really sucks in the content creator space and a lot of creators get wrong. Today, we're gonna talk about acoustic treatment for your room and take a little review with the Elgato wave panels see how they do. Before we get started, I am John Horstman. I also go as Kick Tripod, and I design technology solutions for content creators and streamers like yourself. When I'm not doing that, I take a little extra time and I work on this channel and make reviews and content about technology that I find interesting. So let's talk about the Elgato Wave panels. They come in a pack of six, they include snap-on bases to form what Elgato calls constellations. They come in both a black and a blue color, but currently only the black dark gray is out, and they cost about $99. Right off the bat, I just have two complaints about putting these together. So the hexagonal bases are six separate pieces that you have to snap together. So if you get the six, the six panel kit, you have to put together 36 pieces. That's a lot. The other complaint is that it only came with 12 command strips for the six pieces. I didn't find that it felt very stable with just two, so I had to add a third. Thankfully, I had extra command strips around, but you may want to have extra command strips if you're not going to use some of the screw mechanisms to put it into the wall. Both of these complaints are pretty minor overall, and in some cases, having the bases be taken apart can be better for moving and things like that. So before we go any further, I want to take like three, four minutes and just talk about the science of acoustic treatment for a second. Bear in mind, you could write a 1,000 page book about acoustic treatment and you still wouldn't cover anything. So you're not gonna learn everything in a 10 or 15 minute video, but hopefully I can help you along with the basics. And lastly, a brief warning, this does get a little technical. I did my best to make some animations. I actually worked really hard on the animations, so you should watch the video just for that. So there are three types of audio in your room. Direct source audio is audio that's coming directly from you before it is reverberated anywhere else. Then you have primary reflections, and that is the first bounce your voice takes off of a surface. And then you have secondary reflections, which is the reverb that you hear that isn't from the primary reverb. Another thing you've probably heard before, but isn't really a type of audio is room chatter. It's kind of that sound where if you're in an empty room and you clap, you kind of hear this. The sound is usually caused by sounds meeting each other after being bounced off of parallel surfaces. Ultimately, we mostly deal with direct source, primary reflections, and secondary reflections in our audio. There are also two ways that you can treat audio in your room. One is sound absorption, the other is sound displacement. Sound absorption is exactly what it sounds like. The audio gets absorbed by something and doesn't bounce off anywhere else. It's the energy is literally transferred into whatever is absorbing it. Sound displacement, on the other hand, is about dispersing and dissipating the incoming audio source in multiple directions so that you dampen the sound and deaden the reverb curve. Generally speaking, sound that isn't absorbed is usually displaced or goes straight through the material. Ultimately, the goal is to reduce the sounds in your room as much as you can so it doesn't come back into your microphone in a noticeable way. Another important piece of understanding audio treatment is understanding how the different frequencies react to different types of materials at different ranges. The human voice and its subtones largely sit between 100 hertz and 10,000 hertz. 
The type of audio that gets absorbed or deflected is based on the energy of the sound wave as well as the frequency of the sound wave. The other important aspect is the material and the porosity of the material you're using to treat your space. Elgato is using a dual density foam with a concealed air pocket in their wave panels design. Low density material is going to do a better job at taming high frequencies. And this is the type of material that you see on the top of the panel. High density foam on paper is what is going to tame the low frequencies of your voice. However, usually the high density material isn't thick enough to actually tame that, and it usually goes straight through. Elgato combines these two together to attempt to treat the entire spectrum of your voice and audio in your room. Behind me, you can see some acoustic panels that I made that are actually made out of glass wool. These don't dissipate audio very well, but they're especially good at absorbing audio, especially in the lower frequencies. Glass wool is normally expensive to get three panels, might cost you 200 to $250. I made three panels for about 75. Now we're gonna get really nerdy and we're gonna talk about something called the noise reduction coefficient. All this does is it tells us how good the material is at absorbing certain frequencies. Like I said, your voice ranges from about 100 hertz to 10,000 hertz. The cheapest type of foam you can get is usually that 12 by 12 by one inch foam. You can get a stack of 12 for like 10 bucks on Amazon. But this is how good it is at treating your audio. The step above that is the two inch panels. So it's kind of the same design as the one inch panels, but twice as thick. Then I want to look at the glass wool sound treatment, like the stuff I have behind me. And finally, let's take a look at the wave panels. So the Elgato wave panels perform significantly better than the one inch panels. They perform very similarly to the two inch panels. In fact, I would say that it's relatively a wash between getting two inch panels on Amazon and going with the Elgato route. However, none of them really came close to the effectiveness of glass wool panels, especially in the lower range. There's just no match. I want to do a brief speaking and clapping test with both the panels off and on so you can hear the difference. By the way, if you ever catch people who only are doing clapping tests, you should take that information with a grain of salt because clapping is in a very high register uh, of sound as far as that frequency range goes and your audio is going to be significantly dampened when you add those panels compared to a spoken word voice where we sit down and if you've watched any of my EQ videos, there's so much happening in those lows and mids. So now I'm just going to do some brief clapping so you can kind of hear how it sounds in here. Again, the gate is off. So now I have gone ahead and I added the 12 panels into the room and let's hear how they sound. In my room, which is really difficult to treat, these panels actually did an impressive job. I would say about 60 to 75% of the acoustic treatment in here is stuff I had previously. And I would say the Elgato wave panels contribute about another 25 to 30 to 40% of how uh, well we are absorbing and dissipating sound in here. In most cases, six panels will probably only deal with about 25% of the effective noise that you have in your room if that is all you're using for acoustic treatment. If the wave panels are your only means of treating your room, you're probably going to need at least two sets of these. If you've got other treatment going on, like I've got curtains here, I've got my glass wool here, I've got some really cheap one inch treatment back there for God knows why, then you're probably fine with one pack and you can add on things later.
when you see the price of the wave panels, I think it's really easy to immediately dismiss them. And a lot of people equate those one inch panels to how much cheaper it is to treat your room. I think that we've kind of concluded here that you need to at least get the two inch panels to get comparable sound absorption and sound treatment in your panels. The two inch panels are a bit more expensive. The cheapest ones on Amazon are gonna run around 35 to $45. However, Elgato does have one key differentiator. The wave panels have very few flat surfaces. While this may seem like an aesthetic choice at first, it is going to do a better job at displacing some of the audio in some of the frequencies than your traditional kind of ribbed foam wood that you would get off of Amazon for cheap. The Elgato wave panels are not the most cost-effective way to treat your room. In fact, Elgato products in general aren't the most cost-effective way to do a lot of things, and that's okay. But that's not how we measure good products. Elgato has differentiated themselves in three ways. First, they've created a new mounting solution that is great for people who have struggled mounting audio panels in the past. It's thoughtful, it's easy, and it works really well. They also use minimal flat edges, so you're going to be dissipating audio better in your room. Third, they're creating education and marketing in the content creator and streaming streamer space about audio treatment. And that's something where we've been historically underserved. That's why as soon as these were announced, everybody starts posting pictures of $15 12 by 12 by one inch panels on Amazon because there's not enough education to know the difference and to know when there's better value products out there and better performing products out there. Some of you who are watching this value the wave panels from a purely economical standpoint. Why would I spend $99 on something that I could get for 40 bucks if I went to Amazon? I respect that opinion. As content creators and streamers, we often have limited resources to get the most out of our content. When it comes to gear and technology and content creation, there's this constant battle of the gear we want, the gear we need, and the gear we can afford. $200 for 12 panels is not the most cost-effective way to treat your room. $200 jeans are not the most cost-effective way to clothe yourself. If your only goal is to maximize acoustic treatment per dollar spent, the Elgato wave panels aren't for you and you should go to Amazon and get two inch thick 12 by 12 panels. Or even better yet, you can go and build some of these, build eight of these for 200 bucks. However, if you've got the disposable income, value the aesthetics, value the brand, that Elgato has and the support they give you, the wave panels are really well thought out and they will serve you well. Thanks for watching this video. I know acoustic treatment is a little bit of a hot button issue, especially when it comes down to price. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get a notification when another video goes live. You can follow me on all of my social media down below and come join our discord. If you want to talk tech with us, we'd love to have you. It's also down in the link in the description below. So until next time, go make some content.